where did the idea for this douchebag jar come from? It's one of the first things we saw in the pilot, and it's been back every once in a while. It was a very, very late night, I think, <laughs> <laughs> on the pilot. The three of us were in an office together. I remember you mentioned something. That and you never happened. Some, no, 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 never. Um, yeah, I think we, you know, what happened was, um, if I can blow smoke off Max Greenfield's ass for a second. <laughs> Uh, there, they, uh, <laughs> let's get started off on the right foot. <laughs> I'm gonna say ass. Yeah, the like, circus <laughs> act. Yeah. No. Um. We we. I wrote the character of Schmidt, and I think it was like this sort of shallow, sort of like womanizer character um, that you probably see a lot. And when we saw him come in to audition, Zoe was there, she read with him, and it was, um, he just brought this amazing kind of like neediness to the part where he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> totally not like real life at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, hey, you know, guys, I'm a, I'm a cool character. <laughs> <laughs> character, yes. But what, 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 he, just, he brought so much sort of, I don't know, like em empathy. I, you, you cared about him um, in, in this part. And I, when we were rewriting the pilot, um, I think it was like the night after the table read, um, we, we were just kind of joking around. And um, it, it felt like he, it felt like he, this would be the kind of character who like couldn't help being a douchebag. And was aware sort of, of like, it. Was aware of it and was constantly trying to like, like, like improve himself, and so that's kind of where the idea came from. My very long-winded. And we didn't want to say it or call him that, so I think the idea of being able to point and go, there, put some money Dark. around. Yeah, yeah, it was useful. I feel douchey. That explanation was douchey. I feel like I should put some <laughs> Go for it. I, Six dollars, it's all to me. Well, well, Max, uh, is, is Schmidt a douchebag? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, it's on... I, uh, Kasdan and I had a very funny conversation uh, while we were shooting the pilot. And it's sort of douchey that you just called him Kasdan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> 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 these, uh, these jeans are too tight. He doesn't have any <laughs> money. <laughs> Again, no. More um, money, please. <laughs> nor do I have any money. But, uh, but J Jake and I had a, a, a conversation before the pilot. Um, it never really occurred to me, but there were some people before we went to go shoot it were like, you know, don't, don't play it douchey, don't play it douchey. And then I had this one moment of like, well, I probably shouldn't. And then <laughs> I went to Jake and I was like, um, I'm a little concerned. You know, we were like two days out of shooting. And I remember saying like, listen, um, we're about to shoot. Just, you know, let's just try to make this character as not douchey as, as possible. And he goes, well, just don't play it, douchey. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was the last we ever talked about it. <laughs> and uh, I think, you know. That resulted in Schmidt? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. That was my big direction. I, yeah. <laughs> don't play Schmidt douchey. Don't play this douchebag douchey. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I think we went I from there. <laughs> like a classic thing. You don't play at douchebag and people will get douchebag. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm playing myself. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what else to tell you. That's the secret that we didn't want to know. We didn't want to we didn't reveal but two minutes into Paley Fest. There you go. <laughs> well Zoe since the show <laughs> You guys we're up there <laughs> on TV son <laughs> Shout out my moms and all them. <laughs> Infinity. Sorry. But Zoe, since, since the show is called New Girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to ask how you got involved in the project. I mean, we know you, we loved you from all your movies that you've been doing, and why, why do TV now, and, and what is it about this character that really drew you to this role? Um, well, I read the script, and I loved the script. Uh, I, it I was, was really amazing. <laughs> it, the script <laughs> was amazing. Let's call it Spade a Spade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I laughed out loud at the script, and. And I, I really, really connected to the character. I felt like she was somebody I hadn't seen in a long time. And honestly, I mean, the film business has, cha has been changing a lot for a long time. And I thought, I'm an actor. I love to act. Go where the work is. Like, there's good material in television. And I could see that from what I was reading. And um, I'd been offered pilots before, but um, this one just struck a chord with me. 
little Liz Mary <laughs> I stopped listening. I bet she said the script. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs>